Hey y'all and welcome back for another adventure in the cookie jar. Today we're doing the second recipe from the Key Lime Pie Murder. They are called the Pineapple Delights. This page. And this page. I just want to start off by saying I'm slightly afraid of this recipe because it does not have yield amounts and all the ingredients are about double than we normally use. So on a on a big batch, normally we, we do about six to 10 trays. So I foresee this being at least 12 to 20 and that is a lot of cookies. So I really hope these are good because otherwise that's a lot of, uh, cookies nobody's gonna eat. So I hope these are really good for the amount we're gonna be making today. So to start off, you're gonna preheat your oven to 350. You're gonna want two cups of butter, that's four sticks, two cups of brown sugar, two cups of white sugar, four eggs beaten, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of pineapple extract. If you can't find it, you can use vanilla. I got mine off Amazon. Uh, four cups of flour, two and a half cups sweet and dried pineapple. Measure after chopping. If you can't find pineapple, you can substitute any dried fruit, chopped in chocolate, ch hip size pieces. Now, my thing with that though is th the main title is pineapple delights. If you substitute out the, uh, the pineapple extract for vanilla and you take the pineapple out for chocolate, there's no pineapple in this recipe. Just saying. Half a cup of chopped coconut flakes, measure after chopping. Three cups rolled oats, uncooked oatmeal. I used Quaker Quick Oats one minute in the round paper can that you save, but you don't know why. I remember saving those as a kid. I think we used them for art projects at school, but I haven't saved one in years. Okay, so basically it's melt the butter, mix in the sugars, let that cool, and then pretty much add the rest. The dough will be quite stiff, drop on a greased cookie sheet, 350, 12 minutes, cool for two on the sheets, remove the wire racks. It, it says I roll mine in a ball so the cookies turn out nice and round. Um, I use my cookie scoop so I don't really have to worry about that anyway. But it says these freeze really well if you roll them in foil and put them in a freezer bag. With how many this recipe makes, I can see why that would be a helpful thing. But let's get to it. I have everything all laid out. Let's start. Here is everything we are going to be using today. Right. We have the butter, sugars. So that's going to be the brown sugar. Okay. Very clumpy. And the white sugar. All right, that feels cool. Okay, so next we have the eggs, the baking powder, baking soda, the salt, and the pineapple extract. Good. Now it says mix in the flour. All right, next we have our chopped pineapple. The coconut. And the rolled oats. I was concerned that it would be too much to fit in my bowl, and it almost is. I found every cookie sheet I could in my house, as I feel this will make a lot. I do not think I have enough, and that's only happened once before. If I run out of cookie sheets before I have a final amount, I will keep track of how many we have to make so that we have an accurate cookie count. With that being said, let's get started. Tray number one. Look always, scoop it up and plop her down. So this video will post sometime, I believe in September. 
but we are actually in the last week of August right now. And this kind of feels like an, a nice little end to the summer season. One last tropical hurrah. There we have, that's what they're gonna end up looking like, just like that. I'm just gonna roll up the rest and we'll see how many we get. So I would just like to point out, I had one tray left of these tiny little ones. There are 129 cookies, which is just shy of 11 dozen. Like I said, I had a feeling we were gonna get a lot. They're gonna go in at 350 for 12 minutes, cool for two, and then be put on wire racks to finish. So we are finally done. This is all 129. It is a lot. These are the Pineapple Delight cookies. They're not as tropical tasting as I thought they'd be. And that oatmeal stands out a lot. I thought between the pineapple extract and the pineapple would be stronger in that pineapple flavor, but I feel like oatmeal stands out the most. And I don't get the coconut at all. Not a bad little cookie overall. They were quick to throw together. They took a long time to bake, but that's because there's so many. You could half that recipe, spend half the time, and they would be just as quick and easy as any other cookie recipe. 129 is a bit much. Um, yeah, so next, next week we are doing a cookie called the Walnut Date Chews. Those sound like a good cookie for heading into the fall season. If you are interested in seeing those, join us next week. I hope you'll all have a good one. Bye guys.